Hi there, and welcome to our Introduction to Biology video. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through the basic layout of the introductory biology labs offered at the University of Saskatchewan, so that you aren't overwhelmed on the first day. My name is Joel. I'm one of the coordinators for labs in biology. Before labs actually begin, you'll need to figure out what room you are in. And unfortunately, depending on what course you're in, pause may not help you out. If you've already printed off your pause schedule, the room number it gives you may not be correct. The lab instructors will post corrected room lists on this bulletin board, located on the second floor of biology, outside of room 202. There are three possible lab rooms, 202, 204, and 218. 202 and 218 are here at the start of the hallway. If you are in room 218, you can enter here through the door labeled room 218A. This is all one room. It can be divided into two rooms, but we consider it all to be room 218. Use this door at the front for your first couple of weeks of lab. Room 202 is just across the hall. Room 204 is down the hall and around the corner. Be sure to arrive 15 minutes early for your first lab and bring your lab manual with you. During your first class, your lecturer will tell you when labs start and it will also be listed in your course syllabus. Be aware that labs in different courses may start in different weeks. The first time you come into lab, you will need to check in with the TA at the front of the room. They will check your name off of a list. Once your name is checked off of the list, you will have the opportunity to choose your own seat. Unless your TA says otherwise, sit anywhere and with anyone you want. You should also introduce yourself to the students next to you. You will likely work with them many times over the next few months. At your seat on the bench top is a compound microscope. To the right of your legs is a cupboard with a number on it. This is your seat number. Inside every second cupboard is a dissecting microscope. You and your lab partner will share a dissecting microscope. You will learn more about compound and dissecting microscopes during your lab, or you can view our tutorial videos if you want more information. Above your cupboard is an open space. Feel free to place your own belongings here, but make sure you don't forget anything. You and your lab partner will also share a small lamp and some supplies, which may include lens paper, paper towel, a water dropper, or other supplies you need to use depending on the lab. In rooms 202 and 204, there are long benches at the side of the room. Every week, these benches will have a variety of demonstration materials, posters, cards, and microscopes with different things that your lab instructors have set up for you to look at. Make sure you look at all of these materials every week. Any of it can show up on a test. There are also two sinks along this bench. Your instructors will set up the materials and specimens you will be using to make your own slides here. Information and procedures to make these preparations are provided in your lab manual. Make sure you read through them before your lab. At the back of the room is a door into a prep room. This room is for TAs to use only. You will not need to go into this room during the term. Room 218 is set up slightly differently. While the seats are the same, the benches with materials are at the front, middle, and side and back of the room. The sinks are located at the front and back of the room, and the prep room is at the back again. Do some exploring during your first lab so you know where to find everything. That's it for our introduction. Again, welcome to the lab, and we hope you have a great term.